Week six of the fitness challenge was missing a challenger. Glenn was out of the country on assignment, but his co-challengers weren't buying it. I have no idea where Glenn is. I think he's going to boot camp in Iraq. According to Glenn, he is on assignment um, somewhere in Latin America. But my theory is that he's actually getting a tummy tuck or liposuction or, you know, maybe many other surgeries to try to get a jump on us uh, on the weight loss. So that's my theory. While Glenn was nowhere to be found, Andy and Lizette were forging ahead and seeing results. Since last week, I, I, I've noticed different things as far as like I've been able to do more weights and more repetitions and certain things. And, and then um, more than anything, I've been really kicking to the diet because, with, you know, Anna Mox, the, the chef that, that's working with us, delivering our meals, she's, every day we get lunch and dinner. And so it's like, I'm sticking to that 100%. So we'll see, you know, I'm trying to stay as close to it, to what they're telling me to do as I can. He's getting more in shape, his endurance is building, he's getting stronger, so we're building on the intensity. We're taking the rest time and minimizing it. Um, we're throwing in a new set here and there. We're throwing in um, some more reps and upping the weight. So same type of exercises, but we are upping the intensity. Andy is exceeding my expectations. Um, the meals have started, he's sticking to them. He's not you know, cheating or having any other type of food from what I've been told. Um, and based on his performance, I believe everything that he's told me. So. Definitely exceeding my expectations. As for Lisette, seeing is believing. Um, I've seen uh, my, my pants get looser. Uh, it was kind of frustrating for the first couple weeks. Um, I was working so hard and I wasn't seeing um, anything get looser. In fact, things felt tighter. So finally, for the first time, um, my pants, I've noticed almost all my pants are pretty looser uh, around the waist, around the thighs. And I've started to see my shirts get a little bit looser too. So that's like an awesome feeling. But Michelle isn't letting success go to her student's head. Now we're in the middle, we're adding a little bit more difficult exercises and we're adding more new fun exercises. Now that she has a base of fitness down there, actually this week we taught her kettlebells. So now that will be new into the routine. So we'll do the two arm swings, the one arm swings, eventually she's going to learn pulls and snatches. So I'm just keeping it interesting by adding new equipment into the workout. And while she isn't loving lettuce, um, I'm not a big salad eater. Both Andy and Lizette are enjoying their healthy food. This looks like, it looks like some kind of like red bean puree. Oh, you know, like which Mexican, I love yeah, red beans. Like, and it looks like Mexican chicken. And yeah, or it smells like very Mexican. -y. Or it kind of looks like pork, but let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pork. I think it's pork. Pork, right? It's that's good. It smells like pork. It smells really good. <laughs> and not cheating. I text uh, Nick saying, I'm craving a piece of chocolate cake. And it's, I never have a, a, a chocolate cake craving. Yeah. That's not uh -huh. a sweet tooth. That's not your thing. And I thought he was going to have a, an absolute coronary. Because he, he, like, he wrote back and he goes, oh my god. If you're craving it, fill up on something healthy. Immediately. <laughs> quickly. He goes, promise me you won't have the cake. <laughs> <laughs> Next week, Glenn returns, we think. Was he really out on assignment or was he at a spa? Check back and find out.